Check this out guys, here you go, the first unveiling of it moving around. Here is my Cross RC 6x6, currently driverless as I'm away from my studio at the moment out on a little excursion, but I wanted to take the 6x6 with me uh, just to make sure I could finish up the modeling and actually get it rolling. This is a uh, fire truck build that I want to do. I was incredibly detailed when I was uh, putting all of the pieces together. I even even painted the axles. Uh, everything is looking quite choice. There are very small pieces on a build like this. The Cross RC model itself uh, took me many, many hours. This is my first most detailed build on Cross RC. And small parts like on the hood, like there's some handles on the hood that there's supposed to be more there. Um, they were so small in transport they actually ended up being broken off. So I'll have to remodel those and put them on, but not a big deal. This is an insane looking vehicle guys I am so happy I have it out with me here it is two speed although I plan on keeping this in a low speed crawler for a long time let's have a look at some of the details on it you can see of course all the uh, the tie down hooks there the hinges everything having to be all uh, done very very carefully I know just one static shot you'll be like where's the rear lights I haven't put the lights in yet uh, I did notice like many other people with Cross RC and I was a little disappointed because it's such an expensive model uh, that they weren't working properly. So I thought, ah, I'll just leave them off for now. Flip up these hinges. Let me bring it back just a little more so we can drop down those bench seats for you guys to see. Like that. And of course, ta-da, like that. Pull forward. This way a whole truckload of firefighters or whatever can get back there. You look at this, all the way to the back. Spare tire has been put in. This uh, box right here is for the battery. I'm storing a 2200 milliamp uh, 3S LiPo in there right now. Could probably store a small 5000 milliamp in there, uh, three cell. But wow, what an incredible shot of this truck. Hey guys, let's, uh, let's wheel a little bit and see what you think. Just beautiful, I'm gonna have to get like a fire engine horn for it. I've already gone to Harbor Models and uh, ordered up some of the water cannons and jet tubing for it. Now I just have to figure out like a uh, turret on the back, possibly a servo to, oh, to change the elevation. Look at this. I just want to see the flex of that back suspension. So nice. I also see it's going down. In between the spotlight. Gonna have to get a driver in there. Yeah. Such a boss rig. You can see why it was used in the military and by the UN and by everybody everywhere because these trucks are huge, heavy, and very powerful. And scale-wise, this is one of the more heavy trucks I've uh, ever built as a kit. Drop down. So nice. Triple axle, even with the back axle up off the ground, that's what makes this so amazing. All those axles have a ton of traction. What a beautiful spot. For those that are wondering, I am on Vancouver Island in Canada. Of course, Canada being my home. Oh yeah. And then into the rocks, but these are nice sharp rocks too. Ooh, crunchy. All six wheels trying to give me a little bit of a boost. Must be hung up on a diff. Let's back up and try a different route. Yeah, that's the high spot right there. One tire off. We're gonna have to go straight, not to get high centered here. 
and then turn all the doors open, the driver's bailing. Oh, look at that, I had a little bit of a crack in my glue job. Oh, that's gonna cost me. <laughs> oh, look at the back tire, nice. I love seeing it folded over like that, great tire flex. Here we go. Oh. Look at that torque out back axle. Lots of power, just gently moving back and forth. Yeah. It's a beautiful day outside today, perfect time to get out and have some fun.